Hi everyone, it's Sam from 20Telly and today I'm going to show you how to create an inbound route on FreePBX version 16. I'm using the official FreePBX distro with the most up-to-date system and stable modules as of the 1st of February 2023. This is part one showing the basic setup of an inbound route. So the first thing we need to do is log in by clicking on the FreePBX administration icon and filling in the administrator username and password. When you log in, you'll be presented with the dashboard page. We're going to go up to connectivity, down to inbound routes, and click on add inbound route. We're then presented with the first tab of general information about the inbound route. If you're not too sure what each option means, there's a question mark that you can hover over and it will give you a brief description. So the first thing we need to do is describe our inbound route. So I'm just going to put inbound test in here. DID number, so this is the number that we want to create an inbound route for. Remember the number needs to be genuine and in the correct international format, or it may get blocked by the networks carrying the call. So for the UK, it's 44. Caller ID number. If we leave this blank, then the inbound route will allow any call to come through from any caller ID. If you only wanted one particular number to be able to call this inbound route, for example, my mobile number, then you would insert it here. And then only that phone number is allowed to ring the inbound route. If any other number tries to call it, then an announcement is played and it says the number you have dialed is not in service. So we're just gonna leave that one blank. So CID priority route, you only use this if the DID number is blank. So we're going to skip that one today and go down to alert info. So I can use this option if I have a Sangoma phone provisioned on the system and I want to change the ringtone of this particular inbound route. So if I click on the drop down at the top, we can see Sangoma ring one, two, three, four and five. If my phone template is set to ring three, but I use Sangoma ring five for this inbound route, when someone makes a call into this inbound route, then my phone is going to use a different ringtone than normal. If we go down to ring a volume override, again, if you have a Sangoma phone provisioned on the system, I can change the ringer volume of this inbound route. So if I click on the drop down again, and if my phone is set to ring volume five, but for this particular inbound route, I want ringer volume 14, it's going to override the template of my phone and it's going to ring louder when someone rings into this inbound route. So the next option we have is CID name prefix. So do I want a label displayed before the caller's ID? So for example, sales or support. So in here, I'm going to put in sales and on my phone, it will pop up with sales before the caller's phone number. This might be useful if you have sales or support departments and then you want to differentiate between the two, you can do that here. So music on hold. You might have different music on hold files saved to your system and you want a different type of music to be played to this customer on this particular inbound route. So that's where you can change this option here. So if I click on the drop down, I've only got default and none. So we'll leave it on default. And when someone rings in and I put them on hold, it's going to play the default music on hold file on the system. So finally, we've got set destination. Where do we want the inbound route to go? What do we want it to do? So if we click on the drop down, there's different options to choose from. I already have a ring group set up, so I'm going to choose ring group here. And then you can see you've got ring group 321 test already set up. So I think that's everything on this tab. If we quickly go back to the top and have a look at the other tabs, we've got advanced, privacy, fax, Zulu and other. This is just a basic setup of an inbound route, so we're not going to go through those in this video. So all that's left to do now is click Submit. We've now created our inbound route, and to apply all changes, press the Apply Config button in the top right-hand corner.
So that's everything we're going to cover today. If you found it useful, please like, comment, share. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.